All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm at a very just beautiful place today. Um, this Hindu temple that was built in Atlanta that I didn't even know was here all these years. Uh, I heard about it on a, uh, a photography forum and I couldn't believe that it was in Atlanta. It's, this place is just gorgeous. It was built uh, years ago. It has 34,000 individual pieces that were shipped to India, hand carved, and uh, then shipped back here and put together like a puzzle. Uh, it, it took 1.2 million voluntary hours to put this together. It's just, a, I mean, it's a work of architectural art. Let me flip the camera around and show you. I mean, it's just unbelievable, this place, the, the size. I mean, I wish you guys could really see the scale uh, and all the intricate little details are beautiful. So I'm about to put on, I have my, uh, my Fuji X-T2 with the 10 to 24 lens. Uh, getting some photos around the property and I'm about to put on my 55 to 200 because um, The details are just too good not to get you know really really close up and uh, Beyond certain points they have big signs uh, Kind of blocking the walkway that says thank you for not taking photos beyond this point which I completely respect Because um, this is you know, this is a religious building for uh, the uh, Hindu religion, so you know I completely respect that. So um, I'm just trying to take photos where I'm where I'm allowed to take photos from, and uh, because I can't get as close as I want in certain areas, I'll just pop on the 55 to 200 and stand back and zoom in, and that'll be just fine. Because uh, really, it's a treat just being here. The, the, there's no clouds in the sky today. It's it's a blue sky. You know, there's, this isn't like the best photographic uh, weather, but it's just it's just such a treat being able to see this in person. You know, sometimes when I go out on these uh, photography vlogs and these day adventures, it's it's nice just to be here, even if I don't come away with a good photo. You know, I still really, really enjoy my day. And this place is just, I don't know, I don't have words for it. It's just to, to think that every single piece was hand carved and shipped back here and put together. Just the, the art, the the design, the man hours that went into this, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know how to capture it in, and, you know, put it into one image, the, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this thing, you know? It's just, it, it's hard as an artist because I like to capture the whole story of things, and um, I don't know how to do that here. So I guess that's why I have a blog, because I can post some photos and then kind of tell the story on the blog. So I'll do that. but. This place is just awesome. So I'm going to set up uh, and take a couple shots with my tripod. I'm shooting in brackets right now. I don't really have to, but because this place is completely white and it's being hit by the sun, certain parts are overexposing where they shouldn't, certain parts are falling into shadow where they shouldn't. So I'm bracketing just to be safe. Um, like I said, shooting with the 10 to 24 lens, um, F8, ISO 200, you know, regular stuff. Um, the uh, blue sky actually kind of works uh, quite well. So this is more or less, basically this is going to be my shot. Um, and since this place is all white, the blue sky as a contrast actually works pretty well since there's no clouds in the sky. So I got lucky there since literally this place is just all white with the, uh, the gold plated uh, tops of the temples there. So it's, uh, the blue sky might actually work better than if it were clouds. Now a sunset would be killer, but I'm not gonna be here around sunset. So I'll have to come back into the day for that. But yeah, I'm gonna make my way. This is the side of the temple. The front is around there and they have a huge lake, or not a lake, sorry, a huge uh, like little man-made fountain and pond that uh, is in front of the place. So maybe I can get a cool reflection in there. So I'll try that. But right now I'm gonna shoot a little bit here. I'll walk up there. Right about there, there's a sign that says no photos. So I can't really take photos up there. 
Um, but, you know, I'll do my best with the zoom lens and see what I can get out of today. I might go to another location today that's more of a landscape photography type location. But uh, I, after I heard this place existed, I had to come here. There was just no way that I couldn't come here. This had to be like the next place on my list. It's just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, if you guys live anywhere near Georgia or in the Atlanta area or whatever, uh, the Sri Mandir Temple in Lilburn, Georgia is uh, just a beautiful place to come if you guys want to come and visit. All right, so before I head on over to the front and take pictures in front of the big fountain, um, I couldn't resist getting the X-T1 out with the 55 to 200 and zooming in on some of these details. They're just, they're so intricate and none of this has been replicated to fool anybody. This is the real deal. All of this was handcrafted, put together like a big puzzle piece here in Atlanta. And it's, I mean, zooming in at 300 millimeters basically, um, everything's just gorgeous so one little quick tip i wanted to give you was since since this uh, uh temple here is kind of washed out white with this blank blue sky sometimes it can be kind of uh, just kind of plain to just photograph the white with the blue sky um so a quick tip to kind of make it a little more creative is to leave a lot of negative space so if you get a cool detail like a little bit like a little part of the temple or like I'm uh, kind of photographing these little golden tips of the temples I'm leaving the tops of the temples in like the bottom third and then leaving two-thirds of negative space with the blue sky so it just it just makes it look really interesting that way because your eye is immediately drawn to the temple and then you have this nice gradient of blue that goes out to the top so that's just a little quick tip that I use whenever I don't have good light um, but really I might even do some stuff that just fills the frame entirely with these details it's, it's just too good not to to take photos of. So I'm gonna continue wandering around the area and taking photos with the X-T1, and then I'll take the X-T2 and the 10 to 24 out front and get some uh, you know, poster image shots of the uh, front of the temple with the fountain. So I'm gonna take a quick wander around and see what I can get here. All right, so I walked around to the front of this temple and still just unbelievable the detail that went into this thing. Um, let me show you what's going on here. So I have my X-T2 with the 10 to 24 still, shooting at this huge pond, uh, hopefully getting some good reflections. I'm shooting wide. I don't know if you can tell, but right up here on the fountain, each little, uh, little separator there in the fountain is an actual uh, 24 karat gold plated elephant head uh, spraying water out of its trunk into this big uh, fountain and little waterfall here. I mean, the, the detail is immaculate. Uh, the photos might not be amazing, but I don't care because this is amazing to be able to document this trip. So um, I'm noticing there's some good reflections here right now and I'm shooting from down here. So I'm thinking, I might uh, take a step up over here. Let me show you here. I might go on the road level here because I'm kind of sunken down. I might go road level so that I can get a little higher. And if I get a little higher, I can probably get those reflections in the background behind me. So that's what I'm thinking, but I'm still gonna uh, play around. Uh, oh, I got my, uh, let me show you this. I have the uh, Fuji X-T1 with the 55 to 200. That way I can just keep going back and forth between wide and telephoto. Um, and that's exactly why I bought two Fuji cameras. So I can just have a wide lens, a telephoto lens, and I can get tight when I need it, so, and wide when I need it. All right, so I moved around to the front of the temple here. I'm just front and center doing a very symmetrical shot. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible to take a bad photo here. Uh, being that it's a blue sky with no clouds, again, I think it actually kind of worked out because it's the contrast between just washed out white temple and blue sky looks really good. So um, I'm just doing the wide shot here. You probably can't see the setup because of my the glare on the screen, but I'm shooting F11, shooting in brackets. Um, and I'm really getting about five stops of brackets instead of three, because I'm uh, forcing it with my exposure compensation dial. Um, and other than that, shooting on 24 millimeters right now. 
I'm probably gonna do a couple more shots at 10 millimeters. Um, and here's a little hot tip for you with the Fujinon lenses. Uh, if you do have OIS on your lenses, if you're on a tripod, switch your OIS to off because you're gonna be stable here. So any kind of movement or wind or when anything you know moves, you don't want the OIS to try to correct it while it's on the tripod and then blur your photo out. So right now, this is just, this is just too fun. I don't know, I've, I'm just taking the same shot over and over right now because I, I just, I'm just kind of infatuated with this place, but I've, I went down there a minute ago and got some tight shots with the uh, X-T1 and the telephoto lens. And earlier I was on the right side, like all the way back over there getting some cool detail shots. Um, and I'll probably do some more of those before we leave, but this place is definitely awesome. Uh, I'll be back for sure when the light is a little better, when the uh, sunset happens. And I even heard that um, a few times a year they have fireworks shows here that go off behind the temple. So that will be uh, really, really cool to get photos of. Um, but it'll probably also be really, really crowded, so that'll be the day that I probably have to get here like three hours before anything starts and stand my ground. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep shooting some more shots, and I'll throw up some more photos on the screen and uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time to move on to another location. We probably will, but if not, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my latest photography videos and adventures, click the big subscribe button below. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to become a great photographer, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.